UFC Nashville, we're backstage. There's a lot of commotion going on. I know Patchy's there, Marab's back here, but I'm with the victorious Tatiana Suarez. And man, how good did it feel to fight in front of a crowd tonight, man? <laughs> oh man, I cannot stop laughing because I'm so happy. Um, I'm just really excited that I was able to do this in front of a crowd. I mean, I looked around and I didn't feel any nerves. I felt amazing. I felt so good about everything. I saw everything in there. And um, I'm just really happy that my family, most of all, that my family was there to watch me win this fight and witness this because it's a long journey that it's been, you know, three and a half years. I won in, in February, but nothing, nothing beats my family being here because my family is my biggest support. You know, my mom told me, you know, that, you know, before this, she was like, you know, I asked her, you know, I was like, mom, what if I can't, you know, fight? you know again and she's like Tatiana you're just so special whatever you decide to do you're going to excel at whatever you do and um but I'm able to fight and now she was able to witness this and I'm just really happy to be able to share that moment with my family is she ever like uh, do you ever get home and she's like why do you do this or is she supportive the whole time no my mom my mom wants me to be happy and she knows this makes me happy and my mom knows that um you know, I was destined for great things. And um, she thinks that, you know, that this was my destiny. And uh, I believe so, too. And every, I mean, I think that's why, you know, I today, you know, I went in there. And it's, you know, nerve-wracking. You're going in there, you're fighting. But I felt no fear. And I just was 100% confident in me. My team got me so ready for this fight. They love me. They care about me. And I just felt like I wanted it more. You know what I mean? I know she had two losses in a row. And I know that maybe she was... You know, wanted that she wanted to take this from me, and I wasn't gonna let her take it from me. I was gonna be victorious tonight because I know that I wanted it more than she did. Um, the biggest thing that happened in three and a half years was that the only the only thing that I was able to sharpen better than my skills was my mind. I want to talk about that as well because I mean, certain people go through injuries, and you see, like a person's character really comes out when they have to battle through things like that. And I mean you probably had the lowest of lows at some points. You know what I mean? When you're seeing these girls out there, that you're like, man, I know I can compete with these girls. I know I can beat these girls. The only thing that's sidelining me right now is myself because yeah. I keep getting injured. Yeah. So just talk about that because the redemption story right now is, I mean, on the road to the title. I feel like, you know, we might have a 30 for 30 on our hands one day. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I think that that will be done. Um, but yeah, no, I think, um, like I said earlier, I think the only thing that got stronger during that time and that could have been any, any stronger was my mind. And that's a powerful, powerful thing, especially when it's 100% mental out there. You know what I mean? I think like a lot of people hold themselves back because they're so nervous, they're so scared. But man, when those lights shine, I shine too. And um, that's something that, you know, some people don't always have. Sometimes they're the best in the room and they can't show it, they can't do it out there. And, you know, I think I rise to the occasion. And, you know, we sat there. I watched her ac across the cage from me, and we had a stare off. I mean, we, she was looking. I was looking. I was like, oh, she's game. And I was like, but so am I. And I was like, but I want it more. I want it more. And that's all I kept saying to myself. And, um, yeah, you know what? I'm just really excited to, to continue on with this story the way it should be written. And everybody else had their time. You know, I was away. And everybody else had their time to, to be successful in this, this weight division. It's my time now. How was the cut, by the way? How was the cut, the first cut back to 115? Oh, man. You know what? Shout out to my, uh, my coach, or my coach, Dr. Andy Gelpin. He was, um, you know, we set out to make. Did I? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I should have got that other car. All right, anyway. <laughs> well, I'm going to buy a house. <laughs> what's, what's that 50 G's going towards? Um, I'm a down payment to a house. I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to buy a house, and uh, I'm really excited about that. But what was the question prior to that? It doesn't matter. You just won 50 G's. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Tatiana Suarez, anything else you want to add? Maybe give a message to the rest of the division after that performance tonight? <laughs> no, I mean, I just, you know, I'm always, most of all, I always stay humble. You know, I believe in myself, but I just, you know, obviously I'm just so thankful to have people around me that love me, truly care about me, that want me to succeed. 
that's that's my superpower you know what i mean and uh my family is there and i'm just really grateful for this moment and i'm thankful for this interview thank you for interviewing me <laughs> hell yeah listen tatiana suarez victorious tonight via submission in the second round over the former champ jessica andrade go enjoy your night and go enjoy your 50 g's thank you appreciate it <laughs> how's that feel 50 g's baby. let's go <laughs> Thank you for having me.